Hey, what's up? This morning I am continuing the third rule session. So far we've looked at whenever we make a point an opponent runs or opponent splits to the bar or makes a major split. Today I'm going to look at all the times when we make a point either the 5, 4, 3, 2 or uh, the bar and opponent minor split, so to the 1 or the 2. Actually, whenever we start off with the um, uh, four point, if we decide to make the two point with a six four, opponent can't split with a one, and he never splits with a deuce. Uh, he does something on his side of the board; it's wrong to split. So we don't have to look at those. We're just looking at the five, four, three, and bar point, and then opponent minor split. So let's start off after we roll three one, our best, and opponent plays five two. He's obviously going to do this and split. So I'm going to go through all of them uh, just for the, the first time and then the rest we'll just look at the differences. Uh, saves a lot of time, um, memory, if we can just draw some concepts from that. Um, so 6-4, funny, I think I'd always just run with this. You know, I thought I made the point, looking to prime, um, uh, we're ahead in the race after the 6-4, it's close. Uh, but it's right by quite a bit to um, hit on the 3, it's a blunder to run. Um, so I guess we got the stronger board, takes away half his roll, puts him on the bar. Um, it's just kind of obvious now, you don't really care, if, well you care, but it's not the end of the world if you get hit back. So yeah, 6-4 we just uh, hit, and, and the same principle for 6-3, I'm not sure everyone would do this, but it's right to hit and come down to the bar, throwing everything at it. I guess, say you hit on the bar, you get hit back on the bar, gives you a good six return, and you just want to be attacking and trying to make these points and concentrating on your strength, I guess. He's got this builder here and he's stacked. You don't particularly want to run. Um, I mean, they're, they're relatively close between... Uh, running is the worst, but coming out and down. But it's right just to, to attack, basically. 6-2... Um, even though 6-3 it was close to, to come down and split, 6-2 is better just to bring a man into the 5, uh, another man in the zone, no shots, Con you know, you're going to hopefully do something constructive next time, he may not anchor, or be able to escape. Um, and I think it's very similar, say we roll a 4-1, um, there's nothing really else, but well, there, there are other things like double come up to the 20 and 6, or come up to the 20 and 5, but 4-1 it's simply right just to come down to the 8 here um, and I think that that same principle about him maybe not being able to anchor and then we can press to our strength and attack next time if we split it's just allowing him to attack when he's got four blocks on the eight, four extra spare on the 8 and he's kind of stacked we're not really in a rush to to get anchored uh, better to focus on our side of the board same with a 3-2 um, no split we, we hit and come down to the 11, uh, double hits way too much, we don't really want to be hitting on the ace here, putting our checker out of play, uh, this is just very strong, and even though the 11 doesn't bear anything directly, it diversifies in the outfield focus, same same principle, no real, no real need to to get split, uh, same with a 2-1, um, I think before maybe I would have played 23 and 11, but it's right just to um, hit on a 3 point, um, and double two, I found an interesting one. As so often in the early games, it's right just to make the four and the eleven. Um, uh, you know, usually when you made the five point, the eleven goes way down in value. Um, um, but again, this principle, no need to hurry with an anchor. See, actually, hit was close with eleven and five here, but just easy to remember for these openings after three one, and he splits with the five two, just to basically attack with everything or bring two down. And the double two, um, you yeah, know, making this 11 and four, I guess, so many points in, in on our side of the board, the outfield, it's very hard for him. And again, not getting attacked. Um, let's move on to three, one, five, one. So we sit, we start with the same, and instead of him splitting to our three point, it splits to our two point with a five, one. Um, are there any exceptions from what we just looked at? Most of them play a similar fashion. Um, 6 3. Um, uh, we can't hit this time because he's not on the deuce, so I think we just run. Even though it was close, it's sort of 6 3 to, to come out and down before 6 3 now. 
it's better just to run. Um, yeah, not quite sure why it's better than 10. Maybe it's the way some of his combo shots hit. 4-3. Um, See, again, we're, we're very rarely going to split um, inside his board when he's got that extra spare on the 8 and stacked. So 4-3, we bring 2 down. Hitting on the deuce now is is too deep. Um, so we bring 2 down, I guess. If he hits us with a combo shot on one of these, uh, on the 9 or 10 point, we get so many returns. Um, you know, back at him from the bar. And again, focus on priming and doing constructive stuff. Um, so the 4-1 actually, I just although it's the same as after the 5, so uh, the 4-1, yeah, after 5-2 or a 5-1, it's right just to come down to the 8, similar. It's tempting to double hit here after we made the 5, but it looks like hitting loose on the ace is just too deep. Um, um, so we just simply come down to the 8, and it's right by quite a lot. You know, it's tempting to play 9 and 5, or do something else, but 13-8 is thematic. And the same with 3-2, we just we just bring a man down to the 8. 3-1's um, an exception with the split. Uh, here we split to the 21 and come to the 5, I guess. It diversifies and there's a lot more value splitting higher up to the 21. Um, yeah. Uh, and double three was the only double, which is um, vaguely difficult. See, these are close, these plays. It's fine if you just play 10 and five, just then you don't have, you can remember basically not to split with anything. Um, so what would we do with two one? I guess just 11 and five, uh, it's gonna be normal. Yeah, so basically, I don't think we split with anything. I think I've hammered the homeless theme now. It's pretty obvious. So the double three, um, it's right just to make the bar. Often it's right to play 21 and 10 or 21 and 3 or whatever. Um, but this structure um, of the 5, 6, 7, 8, I think some people call it the rack, is just super powerful. Uh, so we make it what we can. Um, okay, let's look at uh, 3, 1, 4, 1. Um, I think they're very similar principles to what we've looked at. Uh, let's just look at the differences. 4-3. Uh, before we were, after 5-1 we were bringing 2 down, but now he's got the block on the 9. We want to keep him busy because he's going to do something constructive, so we hit with a 4. Um, and what do we do with the 3? Do we come up to the 21 or the 10? Um, I think it's the 21 this time because it duplicates the twos quite nicely and doesn't it's not like it gives us a good six or anything as you know some of the coming down numbers later yeah so this one's clear hit and split whilst he's on the bar um, so the 4-1 this time we double hit we weren't tempted off to 5-1 we just came down but now he's got the Builder on the nine, threatening to prime us. We keep him busy and we turn that block into a liability when he's on the bar. Like, it's an asset for him. If, if we just play 13-8, that block on the nine is definite asset. We do constructive things. We hit him twice. All of a sudden, it becomes a liability. Um, so 4-1 is clear. 3-2. Uh, um, it's quite a difficult one, but 22-10. and 10. Uh, Maybe it's not that difficult because it gives us a good... Six bear on the four point. Um, I guess six three to some extent five three six two. All his numbers are duplicated after this play, but to make a sort of split to the twenty two is not often right. I guess there's not much value of splitting to the twenty one and coming to the eleven because it's not six away from an open point. So this kind of makes sense uh, as being the better play. Um, Whereas off to the 5-1, we, we came down with 2. I guess splitting, splitting becomes more, more important now, that theme. 2-1 um, was slightly different. Um, I think either the splits is okay, 22 and 5, or or 23 and 11 are pick'em. Um, and the double 3, 
uh, you know, before I said after the five one, it was right to make the bar because it's so powerful that eight seven six five. Now it's right to come up to the twenty one um, and actually make the ten. Um, yeah, we just look at that two one. It's right to split now. Let's pick them. So the double three, this time it's different because he's got that blot and by coming up to the 21 point, uh, not only do we make two points by making that and the, say the 10, um, but we also pressure that blot so it achieves lots of things and we're about to be primed. So this one's clear uh, this time, the 10 point six away rather than make the bar. Uh, and I think double two is a similar theme. We can make the four and, and step up to the 22 because instead of the 11 because uh, this time it's pressuring the that block it would be six away so all his sixes you know whatever he's going to be under pressure to to move it um yeah 22 and 4 so after 3 1 let's look at we've done 3 1 4 ones let's look at the 3 1 2 1 are there any differences uh to what we just looked at um 6-3, um, I think this time we play out to the bar on the 10, 18 and 10, whereas after a 4-1, uh, after 6-3 we ran all the way, but that's obvious because now when he was on the, um, the 16 we ran past him, we only left in one direct, whereas this would leave two. If we just ran all the way, he's got double shot anyway, so we may as well do this. Uh, kind of makes sense. 6-2, um, same thing. 18-11, whereas before it was just simply into the 5. Not exactly sure why. Maybe now, well, after, if you play 4-1, we can hit with the 6-2, but say 5-1, we were playing just into the into the 5 point before, but now... That blot on the 11 isn't as strong a builder as the one on the 9, but it's still right to get split more often um, than if he was on the 8. Uh, yeah, so um, a 6-2, uh, we can just play it out and down. 4-3, um, I think we play to the 20. Just checking my notes on this. Or the 21 and 9, they pick them. Uh, but this time we don't hit. After the 4-1, four, four we were hitting with the 4-3 by a long way. It was right. Uh, and now it's right just to play to, to, to split and down. And I think this is quite an important principle. Let's say it once again. Um, when he's on the 8, you, that build is on the 8 point. You don't split at all, basically. When he's on the 9, you split sometimes, but you attack to keep him busy. When he's on the 11, you're not so desperate to keep him busy because it's not as constructive as builder as when it's on the nine making points in board. Um, but you can't just play safe. You need to to do something. So this is like a halfway house, uh, splitting him down. Um, double three. Um, now we make the bar, because by stepping up, we're not pressuring the blot. Uh, that kind of makes sense with the way I'm looking at it. And double two, we're back to the 11 and four. So it's similar to after a 5-1. Um, okay, so I think that's all the three ones. Uh, let's look at now if we change our first point to the 4-2. Are they any different from the three one sequences? We'll look at 4-2-5-2. We started off with the 3-1-5-2, so we'll treat this the same as, as that. 6-2, um, uh, remember 6-2, we could just... Uh, come into the five point before, but now um, we don't have it. So uh, 18 and 11 is better than, than just running to the 16. I guess to some extent, if you know that build is constructive on the 11, it's duping the 6-4. Um, if we just come out, it's just got the free shot at the fours here. Okay, it gives him sixes and ones, but at least we have the returns. So we played for the contact. Um, I'm pretty sure in the past I would have just run. Um, but we haven't really got a race lead significant. So just running is the wrong idea. That's an error. Um, it's just my weakness. You probably, it's obvious for you. 6-1. Uh, 
Uh, no good option. I think we just come into the six here. I think I'd be tempted to make the ball, but leaving direct fives is too much when his fives play horribly everywhere else. And 18 and 23 is just the wrong idea. Um, so we just simply come in, uh, probably because there's not much else. So 5-2, I think we bring two down. When he's got that builder on the eight, we're not desperate to split. Um, Yeah, and I think after we made yeah it's two down after we made the five point they were picking whether to to come down and split or, or to, to the eight point and come down or eight point and split after we made the five, but now when the five points open, it's such an incentive to bring two down because it gives you a build on the eleven which you really need six away from the five point. Uh, that kind of makes sense. Two one. Let's have a little rest while you think what you do with a two one here. Remember. After the after the five point, I think we hit with a two one. Um, I don't know why I'm spending time looking at this again. I'm just taking a break, but they were close. But now it's right to to come down to the eleven and split with a two one. Um, same principle, eleven away. Um, we really want to make that five point. Um, double four. Not obvious to me um, whether to make the five or the twenty and nine. Is that oh uh, uh, yeah, twenty and nine is better. Although we like the five point structure, and we're not that desperate to make an advanced anchor. I think the nine point's good enough. We don't need the five because it's six away from that blot on the three, so it serves another purpose. Um, yeah, rather than make the five. Um, yeah, double two. 20 points slightly better than, than 11 and 22. Not so easy to find because all the other times we like making the 11. I guess maybe making the 20, it just makes that build on the eight really redundant. What's he going to do with all these checkers now? Can't prime you, can't attack you, but they're close. It's no big deal if you make the 22 and 11, easy to remember. Um, okay, so all the after we just looked at 4252, let's look at 4251. Um, I think similar principles except 63. This time um, we run. Um, Yeah, we can't hit anything. We just run this time with the 6-3. 6-2 uh, the same. We run, whereas before we were kind of looking to come down and split. We'll come into the five point when we could. I guess it's just got more combos when he split with the ace. He's got fives out as well. Um, so we just got to run here. With the 6-3, 6-2. This time 6-1 is different. Before we were just coming in. This time it's right to double hit. I guess when we make a point further in the point from away from the five, the four, or the three, or the deuce eventually, we're more incentive to sort of blitz and attack. Uh, so six one double hits right here. Um, four three. Um, they're really close to play. I think up and down either twenty to the twenty or twenty one and two, either way. It's pick them before we were bringing two down after after a five two I think um, or hitting. Let's have a look. Yeah, this time it's right to make us a, a big split after we made the four point. Okay, let's move on. Uh, three two. Can't remember here. I think. I think they're close. No. See, this is quite difficult. So three, two. It was right. I'm looking at my notes now. Um, 
to come down with two by quite a long way. Whereas 4 3, we, we make the split. Honestly, I'm not sure why. Just have to remember this. Split here is an error, like 13 8 is better. So 3 2, we come down. Maybe the two blocks here give, gives us such a chance to make the five. But you can make the same argument with the 4 3. Why with the 4 3 is it so clear to come down and split? But 3 2, it's not. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, and after 3 1 5 1, the 3 2 was just down to the 8. But the 5 point was open. So now targeting the 5 point. Um, 2 1, uh, we just come down to the 10. Don't split at all here. Um, with 23 11, just come down to the 10. Double 4, uh, 5 points huge this time. Whereas before, yeah, kind of makes sense. The nine point doesn't pressure anything six away, and the blitz is just too ugly, making the, the 20 and the deuce. I guess your five point, four, five, six, eight is such a big structure. Now he's got like lots of bad rolls, which are going to leave numbers and awkward for him, so there's no need to, to blitz or, or do anything like this. Just big error. Kind of looks nice, makes it hard for him. Double three. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's the 21 and 10. Let's have a look. No. I just make the board. I guess same thing. It's very, look, at, look how powerful that is and now how many bad numbers he's got as well if you go through them. Flies and stuff for terminal now. Um, yeah, double two. Uh, I guess it's the eleven and twenty-two, but it could be the twenty. Like after the. Yeah, it must be the eleven and twenty-two. I would think six away. Nope, it was similar to the one before. 20 points slightly better. Wow, they almost pick them. Almost pick them. Very close. Um, okay, that's the 4 2 fives, ones. Let's have a look at the 4 2 3 2 split. I think they're relatively similar, similar principles. Only difference uh, 6 1. This time, um, uh, 23. Yeah, I think uh, the double up at the back, that wasn't right. That was a big error before. But here it's right by, by so much to just bring two up from the back. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's some diversification, some duplication going on of what, which numbers are good on both sides of the board. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, after the, the other splits, um, this or we were never doing that. Not exactly sure why. Um, maybe we're getting primed a bit more. I have to think about that. Uh, but it's but it's clear. Um, double two. The twenty points clear here. I think basically, whenever it's a choice between two points, like eleven and twenty-two or twenty, it's definitely the twenty if we're pressuring that block on the twenty-two. We're not. I mean, this just gives us a good game on both sides of the board. Well, I guess when we're about to get primed, this is just we're still kind of, if he makes a point, we're still kind of semi-primed. Um, yeah, that, they were the only ones that were sort of different or interesting. I think similar with the 2-1, 4-2-2-1. Two, 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 They're all easy except double four. Um, I don't think what you do here. Quite difficult, but the 20 and the 2 point makes a lot of sense. Um, attacking him 6 away, making the point on his head just does so much. Putting him on the bar when he's got liability, making the advanced tank just does everything, this one. It wasn't right before, but, but now um, it's clear. Um, 
double three, we just make the board similar actually. Um, and double two, we make the 20. Uh, it's quite similar. I'm only just pressuring that man six away. What, what's he going to do with the sixes? Um, okay, we'll move on to five three. Actually, going, let me just see how how long we've been going. Um, 25 minutes actually racing through these. I thought they were quite hard, but we're almost done. Uh, let's look at 5 3 and then the split. So we'll start with 5 1. Um, everything's natural when we go through all the numbers until we get to 4 3. Have a think what you do here while I'm clicking plus plus. Someone in the comments on one of my last videos said just use plus, not plus plus. It's quicker and a lot of the video is waiting for plus plus. But to be honest, if I'm going to learn the principles and I don't want to learn the wrong thing, I think plus plus is much stronger. And also, I need a break. It just gives us time to think. Also, you can sort of treat it as a quiz. And I'm clicking plus plus on the tough one sometimes. Uh, I mean, most of the time I've tried to take notes, but I think it's just a natural pause. It's fine to do the plus plus. Let me gather my thoughts. Um, yeah, so 4 3 here. I guess, um, you know, other times we were hitting, we're bringing two down now. It's split. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. And tw to the 21 by a long way, not the 22. Maybe it duplicates the ones quite nicely. Uh, ones to anchor and, and... No, <laughs> I'm talking rubbish. The 21's better. Forget the ones he doesn't even want to anchor on the deuce particularly. But this is just right. It must be a way looking through how the numbers play. Um... Whereas before, after the 4-2, I think it was hit and split, duping the twos to come in and hit. But here not. And I'm not. Most principles are you want to attack the further you go, but let's just have another look. Um, so this time 20 and 10 and 21 and 9. Can we figure this one out? The difference is, okay, so after four three, you bring two down. Maybe it brings you two builders bearing on the four point. Pretty strong. Here, 20 and 10 marginal, and here, clear to make the 21. Not exactly sure. So basically never split, never hit, when he's just split with the ace. It's too deep. Um, Okay, moving on. 3-2 uh, was close. Whatever you do, any of the players are fine. 2-1, it was right to step up to the 21 here. Uh, I guess once he's split, it's just too many combos to to go 23 and 11, which looks natural. 24-21 is quite unusual, but it looks like it's quite important to split to the 21, whether it's 4-3 or 2-1 uh, in, in this position for some reason. Um, not exactly sure why. Double three, uh, 21 and five is better than 21 and 10 or 10 and five. Uh, balance game, both sides of the board. It's quite, un I mean, we see that on some of the opening responses to make, it's similar to making both five points. You know, okay, he make his four and our five. That's right by a fair amount. It's just a strong position, isn't it? Looks better than this or this. Yeah, that looks ugly. They're not six away. Okay. Uh, it's not that hard to find that one. Um, just remember to the, the double ones you can switch. Um, Any now yeah, five, three, four ones going to be some differences. Once he's got that block. Six, three, we come out and down. I think before I would have always run all the way. I find these ones quite difficult. Right, it's right. Let's play 18 and 10. Um, trying to think. By a long way as well. Even though he's some of, when we run all the way, he's like three is duplicated. Three one, four three, six three, five three, two one even. I'm not sure. 
I guess we just want the contact once we made the point. It's similar. I find these difficult when to run and when to come split to the bar. Um, two one this time. Instead of just coming to the uh, the twenty one, we make the natural eleven and and, and uh, twenty three. I guess it just comes under the gun too much stepping up this time. Um, you know, after the five one, when we do it, he's only got two builders. If we come up all the way here, it's three. So here's just the natural twenty three and eleven. It's not that difficult. Just natural play. Um, Double two, uh, we hit on the outside here, better than any two points by a bit, fair bit. Five three, uh, after five three, two one, are there any differences that, that all the rest play themselves? Uh, just looking at my notes here, same as five three four one except three two. Um, this time 21 and 11 is clear. It was it was pretty close between any of the players before. I guess again you're only under the it's good to step up when you're only under two double attack, not triple attack. That bill is on the eleven, not bearing on the twenty-one. Uh okay, so kind of get that theme, I think. I think that's it. Um yeah, it's clear here by a mile. Uh, but you see when we're here. All of the players, let's just have a look. Even double up, one up, one down to the eight. Uh, we're really close. Twenty-two and ten, or twenty. Any either of the splits were, were close. We still want to be splitting. Not coming down here. When he's got that builder somewhere, I guess we need to stop. He might, he might be priming. Um, 2-1, coming to the 21, or 11 and, and, and 10 of Pickham. Okay, that's all the 5-3, 6-4 we said, but I said at the beginning, he never split, so the only other point we're going to look at is the 6-1, after we make 6-1. Um, let's look at this, the 5-2. So, after this opening sequence, any of the 6s, basically a Six five runs, but six four, six three, six two, six one all uh, come down to the seven and split with the other rather than run all the way. Um, four two often it's right in the openings to, to, to make the four here, leaving the shot. But his fives play badly, you don't do that, you just split to the 20 and 11 in this spot, spot here. Um, yeah. Just have a look at it. I think it was by quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, 3 2, 21 and 11. Um, 2 1, just to the 21. Um, so we're seeing we, in this structure we don't mind coming up. And then maybe six, giving him a good 6 2 if we came down and split. I'm not exactly sure why it's so much better. Uh, oh yeah, we're duplicating the twos here. So if we come up to the 21, it's two to hit and two to anchor. So it's better. Uh, no, <laughs> I got it wrong. Um, my notes are wrong. Hmm. So we don't duplicate the two. Anyway, it's not, it's point oh, double oh eight, but this is better, just more rounder game than, these ones are quite tricky. Okay, uh, well, everything else played themselves. Uh, let's have a look at 6151, see if there's any variations. 62, this time uh, we run all the way. Whereas after here it was it was splitting down with a 662. Six not entirely sure why, but this time it's better to run. Uh, I've got in my notes, I'm not going to hit plus plus. Ah, 43 is quite interesting. Um, and the double up 20 and 21 was right by an absolute country mile here. I mean, these are difficult, you know, not playing 21 and 9 or whatever. I think we can see that hitting on the deuce point is not the right idea here. 
but whether to play 20 and 10, 21 and 11, 20 and 21. I mean, sometimes it's a theme when he's, when he's up here. Oh, it's not... I don't know why my, my notes are wrong. Maybe I'm looking at something different when I just had a look on my phone before. Maybe they were different. Um, okay, ignore what I said. So 4-3, I mean, they're close. The double up's almost right. It's double 5 but two down or here. I think what's clear is not, not to split. Allow those stack men to unleash. Uh, just do something else. Okay. Um, again, no split after 4-1. Don't get seduced by the double hit. I think we just simply come to the 8. Similar to plays we've seen before after the the um, the 5-1 opener from him by, right by a lot just to come to the 8 not double hit um, right double 6 this is a rare one where we don't blitz we'll have a look in a minute where we do but here it looks kind of ugly but this is right by a lot just coming up and I guess we're 18 ahead and does a lot the Double blitz is too much, even though we'll see in a minute that it can be right. So the double six just make the natural looking play. But the double five, uh, double four, double three, double two, we all make two points in board. Blitzing, obviously double one we can't, it's just a natural five and 22. Um, but this time, so after six one, four one, now, uh, well, we'll come on to double six later but well I may as well say it now double six now it's right to blitz as a, where it was wrong by a lot before but that's because that blot's so crucial there it's just a huge liability when you put two in the air it becomes well it's often going to become too good when he fans either way but especially with that blot um though we're playing for money Jacoby it's not too good but in a match okay so let's look go through a bit more methodically after the the four one split instead of the five one um they're all the same except four three uh, this time we hit, looks ugly, um, hit and split, duplicates twos, puts pressure on that block, he's a powerful builder, and now the 4-1 instead of just simply to the 8, um, we double hit because of that builder again, so it's just attacking more. Double 6 we just looked at um, was the double blitz, sorry, 4-1, four, 4-3 four, you don't make that hit. I don't know why I thought that. Um, yeah, it's the same. Just looking over my notes, yeah, it's the same. Um, 21 and 9, okay. It was close with 2 down and 21 and 9 before. Um, yeah, where are we? So the double 6, we make the do some 1. Double 3 is the only other, well, double 3 and double 2. Double 3. Um, this time it's 21 and 3 I guess it's part of the 6 prime making the 3 and we pressure that blot does everything um, keeps the 8 point which is 6 away from the, where it's split here so this actually uh, quite so you don't even make the 3 you just 13 and 10 very weird because I actually initially when I made my notes look through on um, my laptop and I must have different settings because on the, my laptop when I click plus plus it was 21 and, and 3 unless I'm making a mistake when written down wrong as possible uh, but this is the wrong idea anyway making the 21 is the key point and then the 10 I mean this, this is horrible I must have just made a mistake what about double two? Remember before it was right to hit sometimes. Have a think what you do here. I think it's going to be 22 and four because you make the four point, you pressure that block six away. It seems like a waste to hit with it. You can hit when you've got an inner ball point already. When we've got no points in board. Just the upside of hitting is not as big, I think. Yeah, error to hit. And I think here endeth the session. 
how long have we been going? Um, under an hour, 40 minutes. I don't think all of those are easy. Maybe if I watch it one, two, three times, some other things will come up. But I think that brings all of the, the third role theme once we made a point to a, a conclusion. I think I made four videos. One where we make a point. Uh, he makes a point. One where he makes a point we run. One where he makes a point split. we split to the bar. Sorry, we make a point he split. We split. He splits to the bar, the major suit, and now the minor, minor, the major split, now the minor split, so it's five videos. Five videos uh, for this. I think next time I'm going to look after we start off with a, a slot, so that would be, um, well, my style is only to slot, slot with a 2-1, I'll just look at that one and all the, all the possible third rolls after we start with a 2-1 opening like this. I'm guessing they'll be very similar if your style is to start with a 4-1 or a 5-1, the principles will most likely be the same. I've actually, to be honest, I've looked through them already, they're not that hard, but there are some exceptions. Uh, I'll do that next time, and then we can move on to uh, other things where we split to start. Um, and hopefully we're getting there on these third rules. But it's not just about mechanically learning them, I, I really kind of enjoy the strategy bit that goes into it, because when I've been playing a few practice sessions. I've just been playing so well the last few weeks um, because it just gets your mind thinking all the time, strategically, like what's going on, what are the principles, looking at some numbers, what's going on in the game instead of just playing on autopilot. So I think it's a worthwhile exercise whether you watch these videos or just do the work yourself uh, to see where your weaknesses are. You know, maybe. You understand a lot of the things that I don't, the ones I'm looking at, whereas you'll have to look at other things. But I've just gone through the ones which are, seem close or non-obvious to me. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Uh, bye.